Currently, there isn't much happening inside of Diablo Immortal, and so today I will be giving you guys some information about upcoming few updates, what we can expect, starting with the next minor update that is going to be dropping on 9th of August, and what we can expect from this is we will be getting new legendary runes and few other small changes, feature events, and the battle pass itself. Other than that, I don't think we will be getting more on the 9th of August. Until 21st of August, we will be getting new legendary essences for all classes. And uh, we will be pushing for the Inferno 2. And we will be fighting new Helicary bosses, of course. And I don't have any information yet what are going to be those new essences and what other stuff will come for the game. But we are getting new legendary essences on 21st of August. And that is what I am looking forward to myself. After that, starting on 4th or 11th of September, we will be getting our next third major update for Diablo Immortal in the year 2024. And that is going to bring few changes here that will include the new story quest finally our first story quest that is going to introduce return of diablo and then they are going to be making some changes for the dungeon hopefully it will make dungeons more fun i hope they will remove all the story from the inferno dungeons and maybe make them harder like the terror rift and give us some new type of set pieces easier to farm and maybe every time we do a dungeon, a risk would drop from the boss if they don't drop a set piece. I think that is going to be somewhat really fun to play dungeon each time. And then they are making a new co-op mode. Hopefully this will be fun to play and the rewards will be good. And the Accursed Tower update. So these will be a few of the things we can expect in the upcoming few weeks and month or so from Diablo Immortal. This is not everything. There is going to be a lot more. But this is few of the things that we can expect from the upcoming few update. And now if we go and change the screen here. There we go. I do want to take a look at the last miniature update that came on June 11th. A few of the things that we got with this update was the rune system, the new rune system. And then they introduced the new two mods, which were Abyssal Waj, Horrendous, still, still this day, and Castle Urban, still very horrendous. A new legendary gems were not the best, but they also bring back the inferno difficulty new magic effects which were horrendous again and the new resonance system in my opinion wasn't so bad we were able to now awaken our legendary pieces at rank 5 and get some more bonuses and also awaken some of the talents inside of our gym so in my opinion wasn't so bad for most of the play especially i have seen some of the friends now they are awakening at their slurs even the even the one who are complete free to play and then there were some new helicary bosses new legendary items and uh, other than that there wasn't much with the major update so there we go just taking a look at what we can expect in the upcoming few weeks and months from the update and looking back at what we got from the last major update hopefully we will see some more good things coming to diablo immortal especially uh, some way for them to block the susan boss who've been destroying the market hopefully they will able to do something about that but anyhow i'm signing off if i get any more information we'll be sharing that with you all and uh, i'm signing off see you all in the next one later guys